Hey there, everybody. So today I have the Tucker C-47 Skytrain. Now, if uh, you're looking at this and going, boy, that looks very familiar to the D-Day watch that you reviewed. Well, it is. It is the exact same case and movement and everything else. But these are regular dials, if you will, instead of those salvaged D-Day, that's all brother dials that I showed you previously. So as you can see on the screen, your specs are going to be the same, but the price is significantly cheaper. And I spoke about this in the D-Day review that I did, that there was going to be a cheaper version. So this one was actually named on a blog to watch. I'm sure you might be familiar with that site. And they ran a contest over there to name this watch. So that's the name of it now. It was the no name there for quite a while. It is officially called the, uh, I was going to say the D-Day, the Skytrain. So the one you're looking at here is actually my favorite version of them all. This is the matte black. And it is the only one so far that has... Um, the other two, there is a blue and there is a gray, and they are sunburst dials. This is a matte black, and it comes with like a slightly distressed blackish gray uh, padded leather strap with orange stitching. Very, 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 very nice leather strap on these. These are very smooth, very soft, nicely padded. Um, they are just a very nice, beautiful strap. So, um, not to make this a very long review, of course, because I've, you know, covered this watch in detail, in written review, in another video, and everything as far as the case, the dimensions, and everything else. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead here, and we'll give you a close-up look at the dial. And you're basically going to see that it is the same uh, dial, um, or same type of dial as the other D-Day. But this one now is completely matte black. It's very clean, as you can see. There is no other writing on here besides Tocker and Swiss Made. You can see you still have that little plane going around the dial there as uh, your second hand. And you have a nice cross hatch design here in the middle of the dial in that orange. And that matches up with that strap. So they did a very good job matching those colors there. And, uh, you know, yeah, this is a really good looking watch. And as I said, if you really liked this um, case design before, if you really liked this watch, but the D-Day and the whole thing was just not for you or it was a little too expensive, you know, this is going to be uh, cheaper for you to grab. And I think more of an everyday watch. Let me go ahead here. I'll put it on my seven and a half inch wrist. Now, one of the things is it's still a small strap, in my opinion. You can see where I'm at here. Okay, I have three holes left. Now, it fits me just fine, but if you have a wrist much larger than mine, it might be difficult, uh, especially when you're trying to put it through the keepers there. might be a little difficult for you. You might need a longer strap. I don't believe they have longer straps available, but of course, you can always check with talker watches. Otherwise, you're going to have to put it on something else. But here it is on my 7.5-inch wrist exactly the same as uh, the D-Day version, of course, and any of the other C-47 versions from Talker. But uh, let me go ahead here and show you a loom shot. Like the D-Day that I reviewed before, the C-47 Skytrain has very, very, very nice loom, as you can see as well. Now, I really, you know, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I originally thought um, with the C-47 D-Day versions, I was like, man, these are just really cool and everything. And they are. There's nothing wrong with them. I was going to, you know, I thought, eh, these, these, the Skytrain versions at the time, they were unnamed. I was like, eh, they're, you know, more of the plain version or whatever. I, I think I actually, nothing wrong. Don't. I don't want to take, you know, everybody's going to be like, oh, but you said you really liked the the, the, the D-Day versions, and I do. But, uh, you know, this is more of an everyday-looking watch. It has that sporty feel um, just with, you know, the crosshats direction on the dial there, this gray and orange leather strap. 
I actually really, really like these, and I think I do like these actually better than the D-Day versions. And, and uh, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. We can like what we like, you know. But uh, this is actually, I think, so far the best version, period, that I have seen of the C-47 series from Talker. These are just really cool, and I just really, really do like that dial and these colors that were chosen here. Uh, very, very comfortable on the wrist. Uh, this is a very nice, soft, padded leather strap. Very comfortable on the wrist, no issues there. And uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty cool looking watch actually. So if you want to see more about this, um, obviously I'm not going to have a full review on this. I will link the D-Day uh, review down below if you are interested in more specs or hearing more thoughts um, about this watch. And uh, of course, I will link the Talker website down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can comment down below as well. Subscribe, and if you're not already, and hit that notification bell twice. That way you never miss any of our content. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This has been a look at the newest version of the C47. This is the Skytrain. Thanks a lot. Talk to you on the next one.